Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good day. I played golf this afternoon and um, had a great time. It felt kind of warm for a little bit, and then the temperature really dropped off quickly by the time we were done. Hopefully you enjoyed today's sunshine as well. Remember that headline graphic I had yesterday and what I talked about on KGW's uh, Sunrise Show this morning was I wasn't sure, but I really thought like we could get up to 50 degrees today, officially break the cold snap that moved in last Saturday. And if we didn't hit 50, we'd at least be very, very close. So guess what? 329 this afternoon out of PDX, 50 degrees. How about that? And that was after a low this morning of 27. So that was a pretty nice warm up. Uh, happy February, by the way. Uh, I still am planning tomorrow's Thursday to put together more of a, a, a complete kind of updated look of what we expect going into February now that the new month has uh, has arrived. And we'll take a look back at the climate numbers for January as well, which finished at better than an inch and a half below normal. And we'll take a look at the snowpack up on Mount Hood, which is now below 80% of normal for the season. Yeah, we need to get things turned back up again in the moisture department. By the way, the tomorrow's Groundhog Day. Hey! And if you can't remember how that works, the groundhog comes out. If Punxsutawney Phil or your local groundhog sees their shadow, the legend has it they're scared and they go back in the hole and then winter lasts another six weeks, which is basically when spring is supposed to start. So it, it just means it will not be an early spring. Now, if... Punxsutawney Phil, for example, comes out, it's cloudy, doesn't see any shadow, he stays out, and then it's supposed to be an early spring, uh, maybe warming up the latter part of February. Anyway, that's the folk legend. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. I, I think it's great. I love it. Uh, by the way, uh, today on this first day of February, the climate high for Portland is 50 degrees now. So that's what we hit today, and that is the new climate high. The low is 37. I'm reading my notes down here. And then tomorrow, the sun up at 7.30, starting to make progress. Doesn't go down until 5.18. Again, starting to make progress. We have partly cloudy skies up top. Beautiful live camera from the uh, Portland Spirit. Uh, the, the cruise company sponsors this camera. There you see the Tillicum Crossing and the Willamette River looking across at, uh, at downtown Portland. Always uh, a very, very pretty sight. Okay, what were some of the temperatures today? You, I, you probably can't see these numbers, but I, I wanted to read them, and this is the easiest way for me to talk to you and do that. So here we go. Astoria hit 50. How about that? So did Seaside. Tillamook, 52. Newport, 54. There was high confidence that the coast would get up into the 50s. We thought Portland, maybe, and we did. Uh, let's see here. Kelso, 49. Most areas just missed it. Portland International, 50. Let's go. Hillsboro, 48. Salem, on, uh, let's see here, Salem, 49 degrees. Eugene was one of the warm spots, 55 down there in the south end of the valley. Out of the gorge, it wasn't as warm. Hood River only got up to 37. Lucky we had a light enough east wind coming out of the gorge. It was mainly around 10 miles per hour. That didn't really uh, impact our, um, it didn't bring in or affect that much cold air today. Okay, uh, let's just make this simple. Go ahead and talk about the forecast. So, I've mentioned we need snow up on Mount Hood. Not going to get it tomorrow. One of the forecast updates is that that chance of rain I was talking about coming in Thursday, late day or evening, I've pushed that all the way back into Friday morning. So tomorrow, completely dry. We'll get sun again. Could look a lot like today, or we'll start to see the clouds increase a little bit as we get marching through the afternoon. Friday system, 4,500 to 4,000 foot snow level. That's near government camp to slightly above one to four inches. Eh, some, but nothing to write home about. Saturday, it's light stuff, flurries to maybe two inches at most. I still think Sunday's two to five inches. Snow level's better, 4,000 down to 3,000, and then we start off next week, Monday being dry. It's uh, still 34, 35 degrees up there right now. Uh, I have them at 32. I might lower that to 30, but it's not going to be terribly cold up on the mountain overnight. I have lowered Portland's high to 28 tonight. The dew point tonight's 26. We're going to see twinkling stars, partly cloudy skies, and generally light winds. So clearly parts of the valley will get down to the dew point. That would mean some lows of 25, 26. That's a hard freeze again. Uh, I said on the news this morning, I didn't think we'd have a hard freeze tomorrow morning, but now I think we kind of will. Uh, 28, I think we get right back up to where we were today, right around 50 degrees. And then showers and breezy uh, starting on Friday. Remember there's that upper level low that's offshore uh, Thursday overnight into Friday morning. The, the latest track of that low had it just far enough offshore that the coast only had winds maybe gusting to 40 at most into Friday morning, and we would have 15 to 30 mile per hour 
breezy winds uh, in that range from the south during the day Friday. But we'll keep you updated on that. Otherwise, showers uh, Friday, eh, maybe a couple tenths of an inch of rain. The biggest story, I think, look at what the overnight lows start to do. Generally around 40 degrees at night now, all the way into the first part of next week. And daytime highs, depending on rain amounts and dry time, anywhere from the upper 40s to around 50. I do have Saturday with some light rain in the area, 53. And then we kind of roll it out around 50 degrees on move so you can see. 50 on Sunday, 52 Tuesday. Both of these days now look to be dry. I had rain on Tuesday, but that's now moved back into Wednesday. Anyway, if you like these daily videos, um, and again, tomorrow I, I hope you'll tune in and look for my video post as we talk about February and look back at January. But make sure you hit subscribe. That helps me out. Tell your friends about it. I'm trying to grow this channel so uh, I can invest more in it, be more in engaging of some of the tools that I would be able to get, kind of a win-win for everybody. The weather site I use at times behind me is my own property, portlandweather.com. It has great individual pages for the coast, the gorge, Mount Hood. I think it's a great regional weather site. Hope you'll bookmark that. And we also have an app. If you search Portland Weather, just separate words in the App Store, uh, it'll come up. Uh, and that is all I have to say tonight. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.